Improving life for all people, everywhere. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 182. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 182, September 18th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the personal growth lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of personal growth is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we completed the image research for the first 25% of the written part of the beliefs lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the beliefs lesson plan, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team added additional descriptions, images, and information about hexayurts to the live version of the Transition Kitchen page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued updating the formatting of the pages for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's focus was on the updates shown here, including cleaned up and new versions of the Shipping Container Village Pod 5 and Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 presentations. The core team also put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we continued the comprehensive review of the FFF document with the focus on pages 150 to the end of the doc, where we made updates related to measurements and proofreading grammar and sentence structure. We also made corrections throughout the document that were related to those updates. We'd say we are now 99% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. We also updated the SketchUp image of the EPS layouts for insulating the ground around the domes. Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, also completed her third week of volunteering with One Community, taking over project management of the Earth Bay Village Pod 1. For her first three weeks, Ashwini began the organization you see here of the hundreds of Earth Bay Village files in professional review, reorganization, and feedback on the Footers Foundation and Flooring page. In addition to this, Brianna Johnson, interior designer, created these two finished exterior overviews of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. This finalized version of the Apartment Exploded view, this finalized game room render, this finalized cafeteria render, and this finalized playroom render. 
Also, these second-generation renders of the auditorium and outdoor barbecue area. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 36 of his work that focused on more color, shadow, and texture adjustment to make these renders more and more real. He also began work on this initial perspective render looking east from in front of the village. And Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, continued evolving the compressed earth block village pod 4. You can see his eighth week of work here showing more updates to the public bathrooms area, south recreation space, and rooftop patio. Also, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, completed one last render requested for the Shipping Container Village Pod 5 upper dining area you see here. After that, he continued building the compressed earth block village Pod 4 in 3D. What you see here is his third week of this work as he continued development of the foundational walls and other structures in 3D Max. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the Duplical City Center 3D renders. What you see here are the updates to the dining dome and basement. This week, we moved the door to the utility room that is under the staircase to face the kitchen, and we added additional movable storage drawers. We also updated the placement and size of the supporting columns. We also continued developing the aesthetic details around the natural pool and the social dome by adding texture to the supporting columns around the pool, adding more branches to the columns, and making adjustments to the lights. And Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued render testing the recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 18 of work on these designs. This week's focus was color matching and adjusting the column width and ceiling height down to match the work we're doing with the engineering team. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunini, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued work on the structural details for the city center. This week's focus was additional load calculations and updates to the column placements as shown here. Neha Verma, Construction Project Manager and Bachelors of Architecture, also reviewed and provided this feedback on Bupesh's work from last week while also helping make several updates to the Master City Center AutoCAD file. Jing Chi Fen, Environmental Consultant, also joined the team and began the research needed to create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her first three weeks of behind-the-scenes research into this area. When complete, this work will be used for all of one community's laundry machinery purchases as an open source guide for others that will share on the City Center Eco Laundry page. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed her ninth week of work developing the new website structure. The focus continued on formatting updates, different layouts for the responsive screen size changes, and how to integrate our logo into the different layouts. We at One Community frequently talk about creating a world that works for everybody. And that is ultimately what our goal is. What we are creating is designed to improve life for all people everywhere. And our path to accomplishing that is an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship to create a way of life that is or will be considered to be better than, most, than the way that most people are living right now. Our idea is that if we can make this way of life easy enough, affordable enough and demonstrated as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own and because it is built on sustainable principles, on open source and do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, resources that can be replicated 
by anybody, anywhere, either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed specifically to teach other people how to replicate these open source components as well. Because it is open source and free shared, our goal is to create a self-replicating model of sustainability that will spread across the world and create a truly sustainable planet. Everybody doesn't need to participate. It's designed so that just enough people can participate to reach that point. We're not forcing this methodology or idea, idea onto anybody because we're not ideological about it. Our idea is to present it as a better way of living, to demonstrate that by living sustainably, by building on the principles and, and implementing the concepts that we are developing in open sourcing and free sharing, people will be able to live better in the way that they are now. And by offering that and open sourcing it so people can adapt it, make it better design it the way that they want, but all built with the consciousness for the highest good of all, built with people thinking for the highest good of humanity and all life on this planet. Because of that, we see everything that we're doing is moving in the right direction. And if people take these foundations and we build on and they build on them, they evolve them, they move them to the next level, then that's still building on that foundation of highest good living and highest good creation. And this is how we see ourselves improving life for all people everywhere, not our organization independently, but people working together in a culture of collaboration and cooperation instead of competition. And because we're cooperating and collaborating, because we're creating for the highest good of all, we meaning all of humanity, because it better meets their needs than the competitive environment that, and model that most people are living right now, this is how we will work towards that goal and ultimately be improving life for all people everywhere. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, we invite you to get involved. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the Pioneer team, which are the core members of one community that are building and designing everything and will ultimately move to the property and build one community so that we can host eventually hundreds of thousands of people coming to visit and experience everything that it is that we're designing, to just the volunteers working behind the scenes as consultants, uh, helping us, volunteering time and knowledge to continue to develop all the open source content, or to the easiest way, to assist one community, just sharing our information through social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, all the different social media networks, about 15 others, to make it as easy as possible for people to share. This idea of improving life for all people everywhere has to get in the hands of enough people to reach that tipping point of participation where it will ultimately improve the lives of everyone, even the people that aren't directly participating. And to do that, the phase that we're in right now requires people to help us share this information through social media. So that's the easiest way to help us. Now, of course, people ask, well, what is the greatest way that people could help? Well, of course, we're still seeking large scale funding. Our organization is 100% unpaid nonprofit volunteers. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. So every donation that we get, the $5, the $10, the $15, and we are infinitely grateful because it helps us cover our web expenses and all the other expenses related to a global organization like ours, but it doesn't pay anybody's paychecks. And with all that said, we are still seeking large scale funding. We're still seeking large scale funding to get the property that we've been looking at working around for the last five years under one community's nonprofit ownership so that we can take all of our open source creative process to the next level. So we can build the first of these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, or really the first seven of these teacher demonstration hubs. Solution models designed specifically to create additional solution creating models, start inviting people to come and experience what it is that we're doing and take our entire open source process to the next level. So if you or somebody you know, knows somebody or is somebody that would like to invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, if you think the idea of improving life for all people everywhere is not only possible, but that the time is now, we would like to speak with you. In the meantime, we will continue to do what it is that we're doing and continue to invite anybody that agrees with us that would like to be a part of this to participate in all the different ways to do that because we see the only real solution to all of the challenges that humanity is facing right now. Homelessness, education, social injustice and equality, starvation, lack of energy infrastructure, waste processing, all of these things theft, crime, war, all of these things, we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so our model and what it is that we're focused on doing, our idea for improving life for all people everywhere is to simultaneously address all of these things with one comprehensive model. 
a model that includes highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing, highest good education, highest good society, which is full of filled living practices and all the values that our organization is built on, including open source and free sharing it so that people that have different values or different ideas of how to do this can do it differently. Highest good stewardship, which is how to take care of our planet and to be true stewards of our environments as well as our shared culture. And of course, highest good economics. The idea of gifting economies and how to transition from where we are now to the next great economic idea of living in a life of cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. This is how one community is set to improve life for everyone, everywhere. And you are invited to participate at whatever level works best for you. And if that just means watching these videos, we like to say thanks. If it means a $5, $10 donation, we like to say thanks. If it means the emails and the feedback that we get, we like to say thank you. Whatever level you're participating at, it is appreciated. And we will of course, keep on keeping on. So thanks for following our progress. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and creations that we're doing, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And, uh, and until next week, we'll keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.